We're in the January transfer window, and that means we can finally make improvements to this team. We desperately need a goalkeeper. I mean, how long can I use a 76 rated Inyaki Pena? Bro, if we use him against Man City later on in the episode in the Champions League, Holland's gonna slap us. So, yup, we need to sign a goalkeeper, but I don't know how we're gonna pull it off. We've already made four out of the five signings we're allowed this season. Of course, we can only also spend just a maximum of 25 million on this new goalkeeper. Where are we gonna find someone insane for that price? It's gonna be a real challenge. Stick around, boys, because we're gonna be making our final signing for season two, and let's see if we can pull it off. If you're enjoying this series, drop like, subscribe, and let's go. Replying to some of the comments, you've already forgotten the fact that everyone wanted Otero to be the main man. It's not that. Last episode, we played him in the classical, but he just didn't perform as we lost that game. He's, he's not been that great. He scored zero goals this season, which I'm surprised. I'm really surprised at this, but don't forget the season is long and he could be a moments kind of player. Just one moment from Cesar Otero, I feel could change everything. Let's be patient. If you sign a new goalkeeper, maybe sign a German goalkeeper to recreate the De Stegen era. I have an idea. There is a certain German we could sign that fits in our budget, but you guys are gonna have to wait for that. Why are you not using Messi for free kicks? Although Ansu's free kick was epic. Yo, that Ansu Fati free kick from the last episode was unreal. Just roll the clip and take a look at that. Ansu's not that good at free kicks, but let's see. Go for it. It's looking decent. Oh my god! Ansu Fati! That might be my best free kick yet in FIFA 23. It was literally perfect. Oh my god. God. Well, about why we didn't take the free kick with Messi, because he was not on the pitch. He got subbed off. That's all there is to it. Otherwise, Messi is still our free kick taker. But all right, guys, about the goalkeeper signing, I've got a ridiculous idea. I was thinking, Inyaki Pena needs to go. If we want to win big trophies this season and end this career mode on high, we need someone solid at the back. And I don't see a better option than Manuel Neuer. He can give us a solid six months, being 89 rated, one of the best goalkeepers. In fact, if I may say so myself, the best goalkeeper of all time. This would be just a ridiculous signing. A great veteran. He will still be unreal for us and look at the price. We can get him for under 12 million. 89 rated Manuel Neuer. This is a no-brainer. Wait, what? His market value just dipped to 3 million. What? Can I get him for 5 million? The greatest no, no, no. Oh, what? I can. Bro, I'm confused. I'm absolutely confused. Are we getting Manuel Neuer for 5 million? How on earth have I just signed an 89 rated player for 5 million? Yo, you know what? Let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Let's get that contract signed and then talk because you never know what happens. I'm just going to match all his demands. Crucial squadro because he's going to be the main man for us. We'll give him a two year deal, which should be fine. Perfect. No release. No, we're not putting a release clause on you. Absolutely not. Those wages are hefty, but you know what? We'll give you that, Manuel. We'll give you what you want. 110,000 per week works for me. I can't believe it. We've just signed an 89 rated goalkeeper and this instantly gives us a fighting chance for La Liga and the Champions League because we've got someone reliable at the back. This is unreal. Manuel Neuer meeting Pedri and Leo Messi. Just who would have thought this signing would even be possible? This is actually just mental. How on earth have we signed him? Bro, I still can't believe it. And the price? 5 million for Manuel Neuer. That is our goalkeeper position sorted. The game is saying we could have saved another 3 million on it, but hey, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. All right, Inyaki Pena, we gave you a chance, but you didn't really take it with both hands. And now Manuel Neuer and goal. Bro, I'm looking at this team. Yeah, maybe our defense is a bit weak, but my God, that midfield and attack, it's good enough to compete with anyone. We can do big things now that we've got a reliable keeper in net. Although, yes, guys, that means we're done with all our transfers for this season. Can't complain, though. Cannot complain. I think it's been decent. Also, we received an offer from PSG for Pedri. There's no way I'm selling our Spanish magician. Absolutely not PSG. Get out of here. The Manuel Neuer effect, maybe? Or mostly the Ansu Fati effect, because he's scored a hat-trick. But yes, having Neuer in goal is going to get us more clean sheets. We now have the Super Cup, where in the final we could be playing Atletico Madrid. Should be interesting. But first, we need to get through Cadiz. Yeah, there is no way Cadiz were knocking us out. Ansu Fati and Ekatike got the job done. We're in the final against Atletico. It's a chance to win Barca's first trophy post the FFP era. I want to make it happen. And I think with Manuel Neuer in here, we've got a chance. Although Atleti have got Griezmann and all, they're good, but I think we can do it. Okay, in a final, this is the last thing we needed. It's a penalty for them. And Manuel Neuer, on his basically debut for us, has just pulled off a penalty save. Bro, he's going to be insane for us. 
Oeketike, if he's got the strength and the legs to run through, he might just be able to do just that. Hugo Oeketike brings it inside, goes for goal. That's a good save from Oblak. Okay, what is this chance for Antoine Griezmann? And even Neuer can't stop a power shot. Are we going to lose the Super Cup? This was probably the best chance we had at winning a trophy this season. Oh, so frustrating. Atletico Madrid win the Super Cup. We just got to get our heads back up because we've still got La Liga and the Champions League to fight for. Meanwhile, clubs want Cesar Otero on a loan deal, but I think we're done with any updates or changes to our team. This is going to be the first team. That's going to be the bench. It's done. It's all about seeing if we can, you know, win a trophy. If we can win a trophy with this FFB Barca, I think that's a dub in itself. One thing's for sure. Signing Neuer is helping us out massively in the simulation games. 4-2 against Espanyol. And a 3-0 against Osasuna and Otero scored a brace. That's more like it. Fiorentina want to try and sign Pablo Gavi. Now he's such a crucial part to our midfield. The heart of it, we're not selling him. So after getting through all those La Liga games, but only a couple of points off Real Madrid, the next Clasico could literally decide everything. Meanwhile, we're out of the transfer window. It's been a bit of a quiet one, but we signed Manuel Neuer and that was a dub in itself. This next game against Celta Vigo is going to be tricky, especially considering we're going to have to make changes because of stamina. Cesar Otero, this is your time to shine Chavi Simmons as well gonna have to play Balde right back just like in real life because well Serginho Dest is knackered I, I see you Chavi I see you Chavi Simmons proper chance here for the Spaniard how is he not finishing that that's a bad one Ansu Fati doing really well looking for Chavi Simmons at the back post empty header and he's put it wide I can't believe it Rotero better be running towards the front dude Chavi Simmons made a better run than you and now he's on the ball moving it forward oh we've chipped it for Otero She's not attacking anything tonight. That's more like the Cesar Otero we know and love. Ansu inside for Otero. He couldn't get the shot off properly. Baldi. What a ball for Otero. He goes for the header. And that's more like it. Cesar Otero. 1-0 Barcelona. Credit to Alejandro Baldi. How did he pick him out like that? And that goal from Otero is enough to get us to three points very crucial. Unfortunately, we dropped points in our next game and we lost the game after. But this game we lost because I had to rest our entire squad to focus on the Champions League. I think it was a bit of an end. We've dropped down to third in La Liga, five points off the top with that. Extremely frustrating. But I had to do it. I had to rest my best 11 because we've got Manchester City visiting us for the round of 16. Are we good enough to win the Champions League? I don't think so, but we've got to give it a go at least. Like, honestly, Honestly, let's see what happens against Man City. Honestly, if we can knock out a City side with Erling Haaland, Mahrez and all, it's possible. It's absolutely possible we can win the Champions League, but it's not going to be easy to do that because they've got Erling Haaland, of course. They've gone ahead and signed Neves, uh, Hernandez as well. <sighs> I'm, I'm scared to face the machine. I'm so glad we've got Neuer. At least I think he can make saves against Haaland. This might end up being the hardest game of FIFA I've ever played. We're using a... Very average Barcelona team with a lot of old players, veterans, and a lot of inexperience against the Man City side with Erling Haaland. I am not just worried. But don't forget, we've got Leo Messi. No, he goes for a cheeky chip and he puts it over. That was our chance against Pep Guardiola's City. We won't have many of them. Erling Haaland, bro, I'm just scared of him. He can just run at us and destroy us and then... Make that darting run into the box and we won't have any idea what to do. Riyad Mahrez is on it. Looking inside for KDB going for goal. And it's 1-0 to Manchester City already. Which is simply not good enough. Even though we're the defending champions, this, this, this is not the squad that won us the Champions League. I am absolutely worried about this. But we've just got an attack out of nowhere. Test. Bro, that might be the worst cross I've ever seen. Serginho Dest, no wonder he's been shipped off. To AC Milan in real life. Now that's Haaland getting in behind Araujo. Just bullying him. He's a monster. How do you stop him? You can't. You just cannot stop Erling Haaland. He is an absolute monster. Like, honestly. Okay, we've, we've just opened up the defense. But we can't get that shot off. And when we do, it's like that. On, on the other end, Haaland and Man City are just so clinical. That is so good from Messi to find Pedri. Laying it off around Zufati clinical football that is Barcelona at their best Messi's pass towards Pedri was something special over there guys just admire the vision of Leo Messi first of all the turn sends Rodri away right footed pass to Pedri 
And also, Pedri just looked left. Look at that. His head turned to left. He knew Ansu was there. Cleverly just then decides to lay it off. And then Ansu, simple finish. We're back in this. Gavi. What a ball that is for Eketike. Oh, he's managed to squeeze it in. We're back in this game in the first half itself. Eketike completely fluffed that shot, but he pulled it off regardless. Absolute scenes at the camp now. Messi finding Gavi. Gavi inside for Eketike. Chests it down, volleys it. I don't know how he squeezed that in. That is some real sus goalkeeping from Edison. Half time, and this has legit been one of the crazy games of FIFA I've ever played. Let's keep pushing in the second half. We might be able to get something out of this. Pedri. Eketike. What was that first touch? Did he just do his Lukaku impression? Well, you have a first touch like that. I'm going to sub you off, dude. Being a bit harsh, I was anyway going to bring on, not Alba. I was going to bring on Cesar Otero. Eketike had a good game. I'll, I'll give him that. No, no, not Mares. Not Mares. That is one hell of a save from Manuel Neuer. If that was in Yaki Pena, I think we would have conceded. Messi. Oh my god, he picked out Gavi. No way, Leo Messi, if he can't run or he doesn't have that attacking ability, he still got the vision of a genius. And Leo Messi deserves all the credit for that because that was absolutely ridiculous to find Gavi. And the little Spaniard manages to head that home. What a ball from Messi and what a goal from Gavi. If we were ever going to do an assist of the season award, this one by Messi would win it. How on earth have we gone from 2-0 down to City to 3-2? Incredible. Bruyne. Oh my god, I just took him out. That was 100% going to be a foul. Alvarez looking inside for De Bruyne. Manuel Neuer is unreal. Okay, this pressure from City is honestly a bit crazy now. Oh, it's a chance for De Bruyne. We let City back in this game. No! We could have got a win at the camp now against City. But De Bruyne at the end. They've just got that quality to press us and press us and press us and get us at the end. Full time against Manchester City. You know what? The fact that we were able to compete so well and we almost got a win, that deserves a bit of credit. Manuel Neuer has changed our defence. Honestly, when Man City went 2-0 up, I thought it was all over. It's still mental that we managed to fight back. That second leg's going to be crazy. Meanwhile, in La Liga, we've got through a few more games, but we're still five points off Real Madrid. But guess what? In today's episode itself, we've got an opportunity to change that. It's Barcelona versus Real Madrid next. I thought this Classico was going to be later. I didn't expect it to be in this episode, but here we go. We win this game. We'll be a couple of points off Real Madrid and literally back in the title race this is as must win as a game gets the last time we played them we had to eat the humble pie take a look at what happened now look at modric oh my god how old is he and he still does this luka modric age 36 37 is out here putting it in the top pins no they're gonna score now iñaki peña they're playing Fede Valverde right wing, Jota, no Benzema and all, interesting, Chalinoglu and Joel Matip, Dalot, their team isn't as threatening as it once was, but you just never know, Bernardo Silva is playing against us, I can't believe it, we sold him to Real Madrid, now he's gonna come back and haunt us, you just know, let's hope that doesn't happen, oh this is such a freaking massive classico for us, we win this, and I feel like we've got a chance to win the title, oh no, we are, we are conceding early, Madrid, I just can't seem to get the better of them. They're just, oh. Uh, and he's doing the dance as well. Fair play. When you score a goal like that, Vinicius, you're allowed to celebrate. 1-0. Fede Valverde, right wing. I do not like this, Jota. Uh, we get the ball away. But Real Madrid just, they get the ball again. I just, I can't handle them. I still can't see the pass anywhere. We're going backwards for Nico. Now Pedri. Who sees Ansu Fati? This is positive. Cut back. Nope. It just didn't work. And they clear it away. We're trying our best, but it's just not working. Vinicius is going to come at us. Ronald Araujo did so well in a 1v3 situation. Eketike had a bit of a stinker, guys. I think we're going to bring Cesar Otero on for this. Let's see how that goes. No, Vinicius, not early on like that. He just walked through our defense. He's too quick. He's legit too quick. Gavi looking for Cesar Otero. Oh, I thought that was a moment for him. Oh, Vinicius is going to end it. Manuel Neuer. He's doing everything to keep us alive. We've got to repay that with something. Messi. Oh, that is a lovely ball for Gabby. If he can get on the end of it. Yes, he can. Proper chance. Courtois is something else. 
I cannot believe that's not 1-1. One, one. How has he saved that? Messi. Oh, this is looking nice. Pedri, tough angle, and he gets the goal. That's what we needed. It's Pedri, the Spanish magician, who gets us back into it. It's 1-1. One, one. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. 20 minutes to try and get the winner. All day. Looking inside for Pedri. It's a finesse shot. I just thought maybe he could do it again for us. Looks like Madrid are trying to go for the kill. Because look at the amount of players they're committing forward. And that could end up costing them as Pedri is driving the ball forward here. Looking for Cesar Otero. Oh, but then we give it away as well. It's end-to-end -end stuff right now. This is anyone's game as Vinicius is on the charge. Araujo does really well. Do we have one last attack in this game? No, we don't. We shared the spoils with Madrid. I think they're going to be happy with this result. But I think we should be too. We competed with them with a very inferior squad. We needed this result to bounce back from that draw against Madrid. So I'm happy with it. La Liga is looking tough with 10 games to go. We're five points off the top. For now though, let's shift our focus back to what matters the most. It's the Champions League and we've still got a chance. The first leg was 3-3. That was a good scoreline. Anything goes here at the Etihad Stadium. They're bringing on Milinkovic Savage for this game. Mahrez starts as well. It should be interesting. Also, I'm going to play Cesar Otero for this game. I've just got that sneaky feeling that he's going to score. Otero, I'm just going to go for one from distance. There was no power behind that, Otero. Come on now. We've placed our faith in you for this one. Well, that is a lovely ball for Otero. No, I think we'll forgive him for this one because even he didn't know the ball was going to get to him. But this is not better. Why have we given Mares so much space? Now nope. Kevin De Bruyne around home with his body on the line saves us. Holland, no. Holland, no. Holland, no. This man is just a machine. Oh, my God. And that celebration as well. Oh, he's just a machine. We're 1-0 down. 4-3. Pedri. What a ball for Gavi. And he goes for it and scores. Gavi has now scored in both legs against Manchester City. 1-1. One, one. Come on. Pedri. Looking for Gavi. No, no, why? Why is it a weak effort? But he still has it. He's still fighting for it. Finds Messi. Finesse shot gets blocked. Gavi with the weakest shot there. I just don't know why. Guys, Messi's down. I'm worried that he's picked up a bit of a knock. Yep, Messi has picked up a knock, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it. He's picked up a knock, but he's still pushing the ball forward. But he's looking lackluster. Leo Messi's looking lackluster. That is the last thing we needed. No. Oh, Cesar. Otero. He's broken through. He's got the pace as well. No way. Off the keeper and in. We're leading. We're actually leading. And it's Cesar Otero who's the man. You guys wanted him to be the man for Barcelona. And he's just done that. Celebrates with the away fans. We are actually leading 2-1. How did Otero just break away like that? Oh, Messi's looking bad, guys. I think I'm going to sub him off. We're leading the game anyways. I think we do it. I think we do it. I'm going to do something interesting. Eketike comes on. And we'll, we'll make Otero a bit central. And have him literally as like a, a center forward. And Gavi will push him a bit wider to cover up the spaces. Let's see how that works. I think it's the first time I've brought Messi off the pitch like that. But hey, that knock, I do not want it to be a serious one. Holland. Foden. Really savage. Oh, come on. Are you actually kidding me? For the second time in this episode, Man City have just secured an equalizer like that. I can't believe it. I literally can't. We don't even have Messi for extra time. This is painful. No, no, no. Not Haaland. Mahrez, no. No, no. Heartbreak. Absolute heartbreak at the end. Manchester City gets so lucky. We gave it everything. We literally gave it everything. But it just wasn't meant to be. I cannot believe from the last kick of the game, City managed to knock us out of the Champions League. That is absolutely brutal. Pep Guardiola gives us his commiserations, but oh, all we've got now is La Liga and the Spanish top left. We can't retain the Champions League. Well, that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one as this FFB journey continues and it keeps getting tougher.